Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. So since it's March now, we're in full swing of spring here in Texas, and spring gets hot, especially this spring. We have had temperatures of 90 plus degrees multiple days, and it's just too much for a lot of the leafy green veggies that I'm growing. For instance, I've got lettuce here that is starting to bolt on me. So I'm gonna wipe out all of the bolting lettuce and make room for other things to grow. This bed is gonna end up being peppers and tomatoes, as well as this bed when this one's ready. I'll bring you in, I'll show you what I mean about the bolting, and we'll go ahead and feed all these to the chickens. Right here, you can see how tall this is getting. We're getting long growth here, and we're starting to form a little bit of a flower here if you dig in. It's hard to see on camera, but it's there. The other thing I'm getting here is, you can see all these little poops? That's from a cabbage looper. I've already picked off a couple of them, but I did not spray this area for cabbage loopers with the BT. I did on this bed because this is cabbage and I was having a little bit of problems with them. No more though, they're not here, but they are on my lettuce. This lettuce is gonna go bye-bye. I'm gonna go ahead and harvest this. But this one is actually doing quite well. So there's no bolting going on. It's starting to, but I'll probably do a pretty big harvest of this. In fact, I might even take this out because it might start bolting soon, but I can harvest the leaves and use these. The problem with bolting lettuce though, once it starts bolting is the, the leaves get a little bit bitter. So I don't want to eat bitter lettuce. So we'll just give it to the chickens. They'll eat it, they're fine with it. But I've got plenty of other lettuce here. This variety is not bolting. That one is not bolting. These are not bolting and all this isn't. Now I've got one over here that is, you can see what I mean about the bolt. This one's a little closer to the full bolt. You can see the flower right there. That's starting. Now I could keep this and then collect the seeds, but I've got plenty of these seeds and the packets aren't that expensive and I just wanna make room for some other veggies. I'm also getting bolting on this one as well. Now it's funny that not all of them are, so I also have bolting going on with my cilantro quite a bit. Um, in fact, all these little flowers are here. Once it kind of forms this kind of non-broadleaf, it kind of gets almost looking like carrot leaves. Um, they, they just don't taste quite as good, in my opinion. I like this a little better. So I'm going to still be collecting this. Now, I do have some other lettuce growing here. This is a romaine. It's just like that which I need to harvest that pretty soon. It's encroaching in my leek here, but the romaine does pretty well in heat. In fact, it should be able to handle up to 90 degrees sometimes. So that's, that's good. So I've got that there. I also have romaine and butterhead, I believe, on these two rows. Let's go ahead and start harvesting. So I'm just gonna come in with a knife. We're gonna cut off the roots, which I've gotten pretty large okay we'll just throw these whole things in with the there's a cabbage looper right there so that's going to actually make everything else healthier as well because this is going to wipe out any population of cabbage loopers on this lettuce so those are taken care of Chickens are gonna have a feast today. And you can see, I mean, the leaves are just, they've got holes in them. They're just not, in my opinion, super edible. It's towards the end of lettuce season here. Well, this kind of lettuce. Oh, don't freak out. So, but they like lettuce, they'll eat it. And it's healthy for them, but I don't wanna give them too much. So I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna give them this for now and then tomorrow I'll come in and wipe out the rest of it so that way they're not eating too much lettuce all at once i'll bring you guys back tomorrow and we'll wipe out the rest and the rest of what i'm talking about is going to be this row here and this one here in fact just this one and these frilly ones the end ones are this same kind and that's not bolting yet so that must be okay with the heat now one thing you could do if you want to extend the harvest of lettuce or anything that's going to bolt is put up a shade cloth like this which i have in my cabbage so cabbage broccoli and cauliflower in here uh, they are not heat tolerant 
at all. Um, they like very mild, you know, 60 and 50 degree weather. The 90 degrees has been a lot for them, but they've been kind of managing with this. Now today is a little cooler. We've got about 72 degrees and it is cloudy as you can see but we do have some days that are very hot so something like this could actually extend the harvest but i'm not doing that on some of these other beds because like i said i've got to make room for some other stuff the summer stuff that i'm bringing in what i'm going to be bringing in is tomatoes peppers and squashes like summer and winter squash okay so i need to make a lot of room so that means all three of these beds at one point will become those and at one point that as well I'll put squash in now I put tomatoes in recently in that so I can't do it there but these three beds will be tomato pepper and squash so that's that's why I'm kind of doing this um, I don't have a lot of time although this bed will probably be the last because I recently put some lettuce in which can grow with tomatoes that's fine but uh, the peas are just starting uh, to produce peas so I still got maybe another month or two before I can kind of put stuff in this bed, which is fine. Good timing for the tomatoes that I've got, which should be ready roughly in about a month, a uh, month and a half. I do have some tomatoes that are ready a little bit sooner that I'll be putting right here where I harvested recently some spinach and that can grow in with the garlic. So pretty soon I'll be able to actually harvest the garlic. It's not doing great. So I'm not sure maybe I did something wrong with it. This first year I've grown garlic um but we've got some leaves starting to die back which i hear is what happens when they're ready to harvest but they're not quite um, i pulled one up recently right there and it didn't have any bulbs on it it almost looked like a leak so it, it's not ready but maybe soon i'll be able to harvest this and this will be all tomato but in the meantime putting a couple tomatoes right here is actually going to be very good for the tomatoes because garlic kind of gets pests away they don't like that smell although i did have cabbage loopers all in here right next to the garlic but they'll deter other pests that forage on tomatoes and i'm looking through here and i'm seeing there's another cabbage looper right there there's one over here so i might need to take out all of my lettuce just to make sure that see there is another cabbage looper, so that's going to the chickens. It's unfortunate. And another. So today is kind of a chilly, cold, rainy day. I mean, it's not raining that bad, but... All right, so we are taking down the rest of these. And I'm actually going to be harvesting a little bit of lettuce from the others. And I might be removing all of the lettuce plants completely. those need to go you can see this one is starting to bolt it's getting long and tall and it's forming the flowers at the top there we go the same thing here now the rest of these might be edible I'm gonna look through them, see if I can't harvest some of these. And then we get a salad before I just wipe out all of this. A lot of good veg for the chickens. Now, I said I was gonna do it the next day. This is actually two days later. I didn't do it yesterday. So they're pretty happy though. They love it. I'm clucking with joy. They just, they love this stuff. Let's go harvest up some lettuce for ourselves. Oh, I missed one. See, we never let anything go to waste, guys. This will turn into eggs for me and also manure from the chickens. So it all goes, goes to something. And then this also reduces the amount of feed that I have to feed them. So it saves me a little money. So I got a big spider web here, a spider made residence right here, a little funnel weaver. So I'm just gonna pick around it. I mean, I don't think they're too deadly, but still don't want to get bit. Yeah, 
and I'm gonna be honest I think we might be picking these these might be close to done as well this might be the last harvest I get off these this variety is semi cold hardy but that also means not super tolerant of the heat so We'll leave that and see how that does. See if those come back. Let's come to this side. Got another spider thing. There he is. Hmm. They're everywhere. It's that time of year. And if you notice, I've got some that I'm tossing off to the side. Those will go to the chickens. These are not leaves that I'm stoked about eating they've got bug holes and stuff so all right my cilantro has gone to seed as well and it's encroaching in this plant here it got blown over in the wind and even this one so i had two of them one was bolting one wasn't this one's starting to bolt as well so i think i'm going to take out this cilantro you could keep it for seed um but i you know i don't want to deal with that right now i've got a other things i want to plant in this bed so there we go it's that whole plant i gotta see if i think chickens can eat cilantro can chickens eat cilantro chickens love cilantro and it's a good source of different vitamins so we'll feed that to the chickens as well just to keep this from further bolting and take that off it might extend me another couple days which is great because actually i plan on using some cilantro tonight in a barbecue let's get some of these this is really good and being called a four seasons it actually can handle a little bit of heat although i did have a couple bolt we took out today but They've been in the ground for a long time. So we brought that down quite a bit. We'll see if they continue. Again, this bed is gonna be wiped out sometime in the near future anyway. Honestly, these ones don't look that great. None of them, so I think I might wipe these out for sure. They've been in the ground for a while. Let's just cut them off at the base. Give those to the chickens. They're gonna get a lot of veg tonight. There we go. Yeah, those leaves were looking pretty sad. I think they're about done. So that's a pretty decent harvest. I've got a little bit more lettuce over here I'm gonna pick. I'll bring you over and do that. But first, let's get this to the chickens. Boy, look at that. They've almost completely eaten all this already. <laughs> and we'll get these also. There we go, see what they think. I don't think I've given them cilantro before. All right, I gotta do this quick. It's starting to sprinkle rain. It's getting heavier, so. In fact, it's being blocked. I'm just gonna wipe these out as well. And I'll bring those in just like that inside and we'll just wash them off. Those I'll save for another day. I got a lot of lettuce here and those are growing fine. Um, they are starting to encroach a little bit in here. So I'll probably have to wipe those out at one point in the near future. For now, I think the chickens have had enough food. I've got more than enough lettuce here to feed me for a couple days. We'll come back for that in a, another day or two. And that Grand Rapids though, sure is doing pretty good. Um, I like it. It's a good, good tasting lettuce. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. If you guys like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out. I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.